What's up, gang? Uh, today I'm doing something I've never done before, ever. Not just like not on the YouTube channel. Like I've never ever done it before. What I'm doing today is taking this four thousand dollar look. It's a, like it's a a sunning thing here, so I could get a nice little studio tan. Uh, this four thousand dollar deluxe super mega amazing studio reverb and i'm plugging it into the effects loop of an amp to be honest it's not intended to do that uh i hadn't really ever thought of doing that until i saw a rig of john mayer's and it was such an expensive looking rig and i think he had two of these let's see uh and i th like wow i have one of those i never would have thought to put it in to my guitar rig Ten thousand dollars for a reverb, you know, it seems a little silly for a guitar player. Like if you're a vocalist, you know, that's another story. Or if you just want to piss away your money, that's fine too. You can do that. I have done this. This is why I'm telling you not to do that. But I gotta try it. Now, Michael, why do you have one of these uh, for orchestra and all that stuff? It's amazing. It's so incredible. It is unbelievable. Plugins can't, nah, can't do it. Plugins are great. They're just not the same thing. Uh, and really, this is not meant for a guitar. I always have it plugged in digitally uh, through the AES EBU connection. Uh, there's no quarter inches to be found on here, so I'm using these little convertery things, quarter inch, and uh, you know, it works. Now, what are these sweet amp tones uh, coming out of? Uh, I'm running guitar to the Friedman Twin Sister with the Bricasti M7 in the effects loop. It's going out to a Marshall 412. There's a Vintage 30 and a Greenback mic'd up, and then they go into the, uh, hoo into the computer. That's the thing. All right, so, uh, this beautiful clean sound. I am on a large hall here. It's really not set up for guitar. You can't even change the wet-dry balance without going into, like, sub-menus here. <laughs> Now, I'm pretty surprised. It feels so three-dimensional. It's coming out of a 12-inch guitar speaker. I thought it would get really lo-fi, but it still has the character I really like about this reverb. Let's jump to something else. This is Large Hall. Um, uh, Studio One. I really like this patch because it just it's not really like a reverb. It's just a space. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just nice. So now I'm talking about the submenus. Go into system, it's separate wet gain. Let's just turn it up, hit enter. It's not for on the fly grooving. <laughs> Shimmering, shimmering sky. Another one of my faves. Full, full wet, full dry. I guess probably it's gonna come out as 50 50. <laughs> So something so shimmery and 
lush like that kind of falls apart without being in stereo for me. Uh, I'll show you that in post. So I'm gonna, so this is dry amp with the effect after the fact. <laughs> Now we're dirty, here, here I am dirty. Now let's add Sunset Chamber. Uh, Sunset Chamber can only mean one thing, that Van Halen Chamber from Sunset Sound. That's what I say it means. That's still okay. Maybe we need a lot of get We're going full. Almost full. No, we're not. We're not doing that. That was... I don't think that was it. I like it on those uh, single notes. Hmm. I'd still track it dry and add it afterwards because stereo is nice, you know. What else is in here that might be interesting? Plate? That's pretty nice. Yeah, I like that. But man, I'm sure in a mix I'd be like, oh, why didn't I do that dry? Why didn't I do it dry? Let's hear some big, wide stereo, shall we? I'm running the audio from the session into a reverb send that comes out of Logic to the hardware, back in, so it's all stereo after the fact. Oh, that sounds so good. It's so wide. Yeah, that's really cool. That's the music club. Here's that Studio One that I quite like. That's great space around the, the notes. Love it. <laughs> 
Let's go for something long. Uh, this is large haul, but I set it for like a 4.2 second, just because that's where the dial ended. <laughs> It's nice. So yeah, that's it. That's the Bricasti M7. It was designed by some ex-Lexicon uh, big brain guys, and it's stupendous. There are some plug-in sort of variants of it that have used impulses from it, and they kind of get the sound, and they are roughly $3,300 cheaper. So if that sounds great to you, there are some options, but if you have to have the most luscious, widest wish, um, cast the M7. It's the way to go. Guys, if you would, please like and subscribe, write a comment, do something so the algorithm will treat me a little better. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you later.